Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be giving you an overview on the EG4 Solar AC heat pump setup. Uh, I've been running this for a couple days now. As you can see, I kind of got the installation all finished up. I was waiting on uh, some more cable to go inside to the indoor unit. So that's all finished up. Uh, I've been using it for about a week now and it's working great. Uh, I'm really pretty happy with this unit so far. Uh, there are a couple things that uh, I'm going to point out kind of here at the start of the video that I don't like about it. And I'll get to some more things that I do like about it later on in the video. But mm -hmm. as you can see, I got the line set cover uh, all buttoned up. Everything's kind of in its uh, final final form now. I got to cut that piece of drain off once it's a little bit warmer out. I want to just kind of bend it down first and then we'll be all finished. I did wrap the line set in this kind of white protective, I don't know, tape that they included. I don't, I don't really love it. It kind of looks a little cheap. I don't know why I finished it and went all the way with it, but I figured I'd try to protect the insulation as much as I can. And uh, yeah, those are my solar panels. I have a little disconnect there, a little breaker. Um, I'll show you a little more on that later, but yeah, this is a one ton solar heat pump, meaning it can run directly on solar panels if the sun is out. Um, I have six Canadian solar 230 watt panels at 35 volts a piece. So in total, I have 210 volts DC of solar and just short of 1400 watts. So this is my number one uh, gripe with this unit. I mentioned it in the last video, but there's no grill on this back side of the AC. This coil is totally exposed, which I mentioned it's not a huge deal now that it's installed, but you can see it's got a couple little nicks in it. Uh, one of them is from me, one of them is from shipping. So I wish they would have put a coil on there or a grill, sorry, they easily could have. The holes are already there. These look just like direct air heat pumps and they have one. Uh, number two is there's no cover on these uh, valves. Every inverter, heat pump, every mini split I've ever seen has a cover over these. So again, not a big deal, but I feel like they easily could have included it um, just to kind of hide those, give them a bit of protection. Um, and then the other thing is this tape. I don't know. I don't know. It's, there's no adhesive on it. You're literally just wrapping it. It's not sticky at all. It kind of looks cheap. Um, other thing I wasn't a huge fan of is this is the only paperwork you get with the unit. This is the only documentation. So there's really no... Um, coefficient of performance charts there's no heating season performance factor there's not a lot of information on the heating side of things whatsoever um, there's some brief install instructions there's charging information if you're adding length to the line set like i did so um, that's usually pretty standard anyways but there's a bit of information here it could have been a little more detailed um, this is the only bit of information on the heating performance and all it says is you can expect poor heating performance when the outdoor temperature is below 7 degrees Celsius. So I was really not sure if this was going to heat um, adequately, you know, in, in kind of cooler temperatures, but so far it's been great. I've been pretty happy with it. All right, so the unit is up and running now, as you can see, uh, it's very quiet. I'm going to take you inside and show you a couple temperature readings. So right now, uh, the high wall unit is kicking out around 110 degree indoor air, which is pretty good. The house is around 70. Um, so that's a pretty good temp rise for a cooler day today. Uh, we are sitting around minus two right now, I believe. We'll double check here. Um, so that's pretty good for uh, a unit that claims you're going to have poor performance below 7C. It's doing pretty well at uh, the minus, the negative temperatures. As you can see, the sun is just coming up, um, not really high enough to hit the panels yet, and I have a bunch of snow and ice on top of the panels, so I'm going to go out there and knock that off so we can get a bit of sun. So this is the unit running right now at about a quarter to eight in the morning. Uh, as you can see, we have no solar input. We're running all on AC power, and we're using about 760 watts. All right, I got the solar panels knocked off and we have that green icon lit up now, which means we are receiving some solar input. Um, not much just yet, but I had to break out the old snow scraper and get up there and kind of scrape them off. It was pretty frozen up, so they are getting a bit of sun now. I'll show you the screen here. Um, we're getting about 200 watts of solar input and about 520 of AC input, and it's just after 9 a.m. So another hour, we should be on full sun. 
All right, the unit has ramped down now, so I'm just gonna take another temp reading here. Uh, you can see we're still coming out around 106, 107 Fahrenheit. Um, so we're set for 75 degrees and the indoor temperature is at 75. So the compressor sort of ramps down, it's a variable speed. As you can see here, I've set the um, temperature on the gas furnace down to 69 and we're still holding at 72. It's about 9.30 now and we are about 50-50 on the input. Um, we're getting a good amount of sun now and just another half hour or so we should be in full solar. Okay, we are now on full sun. It's almost 11 a.m. I meant to uh, get back here a little sooner, but I got busy. So compressors ramped down to about half speed and we're doing 105 degree Fahrenheit. Uh, as you can see now, we are on full solar input, 640 watts of absolutely free heat. Um, so this is when I love using this unit is when you're right off the grid. Everything coming out of the head unit is just free heat. As you can see, the sun is out pretty nicely today. Um, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. The sun's just getting high enough in the sky. We can kind of get everything lit up here. Um, we were actually on full solar by about quarter after 10, but I didn't get back here in time for the video. So uh, I just want to show you how this compressor ramps up and down. So you can see we were um, kind of maintaining there. And when you crank it up, the compressor does increase its frequency. Everything ramps up. You get more heat, more airflow out of the unit crank it up even further and um, you can watch the solar input climb. Now the highest I've seen this thing go is about 1390 watts and um, at that point I did have to add some AC power. I didn't have enough solar that day to to make it up. So this is a clip from Friday. This was the coldest night we've had since I've had this unit running. Uh, you can see here we're kicking out about 110, 111 degrees Fahrenheit and it's minus eight outside. So I'm pretty happy with that. I really can't complain. Uh, for a unit that claims poor performance under 7 degrees Celsius, that's fine with me. I'm pretty happy. So overall, I am very pleased with this unit. Uh, I feel like it was a pretty good value for what you get. Uh, a couple little complaints, like I mentioned earlier in the video, but overall, I'm very happy with it. It does come with this little remote, uh, but it also has a really good app. The app has been super reliable. It's always connected. It's very quick. There's not a lot of delay or lag. Um, this is a chart of a day of use. So the orange early in the morning is all AC input. The green is all solar. As you can see, kind of midday, I actually had to shut it off. It was getting too warm in the house at one point. So um, the unit's very quiet. I haven't had any issues with it. The indoor unit is very quiet. You don't hear a ton of airflow um, and it kicks out a ton of heat. So I'll keep you guys posted in the future. But like I said, I'm um, really happy with it so far. If you're thinking about getting one of these units, the install is pretty straightforward as long as you don't have to get into modifying, you know, the line set and the wiring and stuff like that. But I would recommend one of these at this point. It's been it's been pretty good. So I'll keep you posted with update videos. Um, kind of hope to see some savings. I'll, I'll update you on that. And then once we get into the warmer weather, I will post some some air conditioning performance videos. So. I hope you liked the video. Um, hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more videos on this unit coming up. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.